everyone, this is Ginger with My Sister Scrapper. Well, here's a mini album that I created using um, Kathy Orta's tutorial um, that she just started. It's actually a mini album series, and, series, and I needed um, a couple of quick mini albums um, to take with me on vacation for my two little aunties. They're both like in their 80s. And um, I love this um, her idea for this album because you get tons and tons and tons and tons of room for photos. Because with Kathy Orta, it's all about the photos. Um, she's just darling and fabulous and amazingly, uh, and she's an ingenious when it comes to folded paper. But this mini album uses um, cards and envelopes. And again, she has a tutorial um, series, and I'll put the link in the description to that um, to the first series. And then you'll be able to see the rest of them. So here's the cover. Um, the paper that I use is from K and Company. It's um, the watercolor collection. Um, I stamped this little image here. This is share the moments that bring you joy. And then I kind of use the torn wallpaper look um, for the edges and distressed with um, vintage photo. I have some Prima flowers here and here and here and I glimmer misted them with um, iridescent gold, glimmer mist. I put some little tool here and I made a little stick pin with this Maya Road stick pin with a butterfly on it. Added some little punch leaves with my Martha Stewart rose leaf punch and I have some really pretty lace trim and some um, flat back pearls. And on the binding I added this little um, floral trim right here to the, um, this, the binding edge. So I have a little um, the girls papery charm here with a little clock on it has a little pink pink bling and then I tied it with some um, seam binding so this just unties like this for the closure and you open it up and I didn't decorate the pages because like I said my little aunties are in their 80s and we're just gonna put photos of our our visit when we're back there with them um, and just have take pictures lots of pictures and have them printed up and then just put the photos on so that's why nothing's decorated because it would just be too overwhelming for them the paper is stunning it's gorgeous paper um so here's the first inside cover and their chipboard covers um and then here's the first card this is a card and envelope and it's just ingenious um again i just use the paper here and then the nice thing about this is that you can put one two three four photos on the card and then you can put a photo here and you flip it over and you can put a photo here. So that's one envelope and one card and you've already got six photos. So how fabulous is that? And then this is a little insert that Kathy shows you how to make as well um, that you attach to a flap on the envelope. And it's got a place for a really nice um, photo here. And then there's a photo mat here. And then um, there's a photo mat in here. And I left the backs of them, some of the photo mats plain, just so we can write some little notes to our auntie um, on the back of that right there. And then um, what she did on her in the tutorial is she added like a little uh, trim piece here that you use a decorative edge punch and then you fold it over and then um, you can, as a place for another tag, but. I just eliminated that step and um, left it plain. So then you flip it over and you have another spot for photo here. So right here you've got a place for six photos, seven, eight, nine, ten photos just in one section and there's three sections. So here's the green section. I tried to keep them kind of coordinated so, so the colors are kind of going together. And this paper is gorgeous um, from Kane Company. It's called Watercolor. It's darling. Love it. And it just flips, keeps flipping like this. And then here's the insert with the photo mats and the journaling. There's lots of glitter and oh, gorgeous paper. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So you make three sets of these little um, inserts and then you use six envelopes and six um, cards and um, that's how she shows you how to put it together um, in a whole series of videos so she's still working on it and there's only like I think series one and uh, video one and video two but I couldn't wait so I just kind of went ahead and winged it myself but thanks Kathy you're the best love your videos 
So there's that page, and then it just goes on and on forever. So they will love it. They will have so much fun putting these photos on here. And then the last purple page. Love the glitter paper. And then there's the back. And then I just put my little stamp here, hand made by Ginger, and then I covered up my little seam here with a little piece of um, satin trim. So that's the mini album. I did make two. I'll uh, show you the other one on my next video. But there you have it, everybody. That's my little uh, mini album that I'm going to take to my little auntie who's in her 80s. Um, me and my sisters, we're going to go back and visit her, so I'm going to take lots of pictures, so I think she'll really like this. So there you have it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.